this really all they had to worry about? Boys, movies, deciding which shirt goes with which skirt. It's bizarre. Get up. We're leaving. Come on. And if I say no? Do you even realize what your life means? Huh? Running off like that, putting yourself at risk? It's pretty goddamn stupid. Well, I guess we're both disappointed with each other then. What do you want from me? Admit that you wanted to get rid of me the whole time. Tommy knows this area oh, better fuck than... That. Well, I'm sorry. I trust him better than I trust myself. Stop with the bullshit. What are you so afraid of? That I'm gonna end up like Sam? I can't get infected. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? Well, we seem to be doing all right so far. And now you'll be doing even better with Tommy. Not her, you know. What? Maria told me about Sarah. Ellie? And... You are treading on some mighty thin ice here. I'm sorry about your daughter, Joel, but I have lost people too. You have no idea what loss is. Everyone I have cared for has either died or left me. Everyone fucking except for you. So don't tell me that I would be safer with someone else because the truth is I would just be more scared. You're right. You're not my daughter. And I sure as hell ain't your dad. And we are going our separate ways. Get it together. Hey. Can I ask you a question? Well, it doesn't really matter what your answer was, because uh, I'm going to ask you anyway. What are you so afraid of? Afraid of losing someone? Someone important? Are you afraid of abandonment? You know, ending up alone, that whole thing? Are you afraid of losing sight of the mission? You know, failing at the all-encompassing goal of striving to be better. Maybe the fear of letting down those you care for. Something like that, I know. Now, some would say... Without fear, life is meaningless. And while I do see where they're coming from, I'm not sure if I can completely get on board with that. For me personally, I think fear exists to be overcome. Fear. A tool for your placement in this world because see like you'll never be able to reach your maximum limit with fear still inside you now this doesn't mean to go partake in everything mindlessly you know without thinking about the repercussions definitely not that but to help you understand better I'll put it like this you're locked in a room with a venomous snake and uh, right next to that snake is the key to get out of the room what are you going to do? Are you going to let the fear of being bitten by the snake, you know, trap you inside that room forever? Or are you going to look in the mirror, grab your balls and say, I'm getting out of this fucking room whether the snake likes it or not? Me personally, I know what option I'm picking. Ripping the snake's fucking head off. For me, you know, having the mind that I have, I tend to get comfortable with some of the most uncomfortable things to, you know, ever happen to anyone. Almost like a sort of mental self-defense type of thing. Uh, I'm sure there's a more specific psychological, scientific term for that, but... My mind races, and it races a lot. And I think about just about everything. Like, there's never a single moment in the day where I'm not thinking about something. Like, there's always something running through my mind. So with that sort of superpower that has like a double-edged sword deal to it, I think it not only allows me to think outside the box, but it also tends to put some uh, pretty bad imagery in my head. As the Dark Knight said, My brain's not a nice place to be. So to help curtail that, I think of every possible reason not to be afraid of something. Because truth be told, I used to be deathly afraid of black holes. The astronomical size and devastating amount of, like, destructive power black holes have, like, that's fucking scary. But doesn't thinking about a black hole get a whole lot easier when you realize that the closest one to any of us, yes, including you two, 
is about 1,600 light years away, if my Googling sources are correct. Let's do another one. Losing someone you care about. Now, unless you've been able to walk through life completely unscathed by the possibility of having someone important to you, you know, leave your life, then I'm more than certain that we all know exactly what that feels like. Having someone so incredibly important to you that trying to imagine what life is like without them, that's asking the impossible. Having someone that you thought would never leave your side, you know, someone who explicitly said, I love you to the moon and back, gone, they left. Leaving without a trace or a reason or explanation, trust me, I, I know it's hard to, to think about. But one way I, you know, personally use to make it easier to overcome that fear is to realize that the most important person in your world is you. So let's say the entire population that resides on this planet right here completely wiped out. Well, except for you, of course. Now arises the question, who now becomes important to you? Yourself. You know, I wanted to make this video because, like I said in my last video, I do sometimes watch my own videos. And, and, and in one of my earlier videos, I, uh, I had said this. And like small fact about me, I'm not really scared of anything, but you know, that's a story for another time. And I, to this day, like this was almost three years ago now. And to this day, that that's still kind of the case. Um, I, I still come up with every justifiable reason to to not be afraid of something. So I think, uh, I think if more people started, you know, overcoming their fears, I think uh, I think the world would definitely be a better place at least you know a little bit I guess but um but yeah just a quick video for today I uh, I do definitely appreciate all the love that uh, that the last video has been getting last two videos to be honest with you like I, I really did not expect that that video either of these videos now nah. I'll be honest that that Kanye video I did kind of expect you know at least some people to watch it you know, not everybody, of course, but this Suicide Squad video, you know, thank you for showing love, y'all. Like, really, uh, if you've made it to the end of that video and you made it to the end of this, if, and if you made it to the end of this video, thank you. Like, really, like, <laughs> you know, doing this YouTube shit has really, it's, it's really been a dream of mine. And I even made a video about that and, you know, why I'm doing this, you know, in general, but it's really been a dream of mine ever since I was a kid. Like, you know, one of my biggest inspirations for really getting into YouTube, there's a astronomical shit ton of, uh, of inspirations I have for, you know, why I do what I do. But one of my main inspirations for sitting down, recording and editing this video you're watching right now is because of these two motherfuckers. Like, if it wasn't because of them, I really, I, I wouldn't have known the possibility of making videos to make other people happy was, was even possible. Like, I wouldn't even know that was a thing. And the impact that they had on, you know, my life, but not only mine, but, you know, my sister too. Because, uh, you know, we both watched them. And we both really loved them. Um, If they hadn't existed, I... It's hard to, you know, like I said before, it's hard to imagine what, what life would be like. But, um, yeah, man. Just a, you know, short video for today. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's really it. <laughs> um, but to end this video, I'd like to ask you personally a question. What are you afraid of? You know, leave that in the comments, uh, you know, just anything that you're not the most comfortable, you know, talking about. Obviously, you know, if you're not, like, completely comfortable with saying it, don't. Of course, you know, it's, it's okay to keep some things to yourself. But, you know, really, what are you afraid of? I'm, I'm very intrigued to know the phobias of, uh, of other people. I'm no scarecrow, but I do, I, I, I would like to know what what makes other people afraid what makes other people scared because you know seeing as i don't really have much to be afraid of and you know my whole 
you know, logic behind that. Um, I like to know other people's. So, yeah, just leave that in the comments down below. And, um, yeah, that just about wraps up this video. Thank you for all the love. Um, I, like, I... I can't I can't explain enough like just how much this 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 means to me and like this is one video we're talking about this is just one video of many many to come and uh, for it to get you know the traction that it did I, I really appreciate that and here's to many more videos in the future being viewed by you so that being said I'll see you on the next one. Peace.